Hey Gemini, what is up? I hope you guys are all doing really, really well. So this is going to be your general love reading for September 2022 for Gemini. And as I say that, Gemini with the lovers, as soon as I cut the deck. Um, so Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. All right, this reading is general, so it won't be everybody's situation. But of course, you can always book a personal reading to get more specific details. And you can find all that information in the description box. And also the roles in this particular reading can be reversed because it is general. All right, Gemini, let's see. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. What is going on with you in September 2022 in a love connection? All right, for the situation, we have the Ten of Pentacles crossed by the Nine of Swords. Ooh, okay. So there's a situation here. It feels like there's some kind of a commitment. Um, it, it could be something like a marriage or it could even be a situation that you are in that feels like this is like a long-term situation. It doesn't even have to be that um, it's a partnership with somebody else. It's just some kind of a long-term situation. Like it could even be a job. Um, whatever that situation is, it's creating a lot of stress and a lot of anxiety um, for you. Of course, it could be the other person here. Um, so just take the messages as it resonates. It, it almost feels like somebody's just um, thinking about this way too much to the point that it's just driving them crazy. Um, let's see for your energy. We have the Hermit. Okay, so Virgo. Some of you might be dealing with a Virgo or you might have strong Virgo in your charts. We have the Knight of Pentacles and the ace of pentacles okay so a lot of earth energy for you here so i'm getting that you know you're probably just feeling very grounded or you're moving towards um grounding yourself and just really possibly focusing on your on your environment on your surroundings in the physical um i'm getting here that you have spent a lot of time introspecting soul searching possibly you've been a little bit withdrawn either from the world or from a particular person here because you've been doing a lot of inner work and just figuring yourself out basically and i feel like you know this is actually putting you on a new path like you're moving steadily towards some kind of a new beginning here let's see for the other person. Yeah, because I, I mean, I just don't, this is a love reading, but sometimes the messages that come through might not be so directly related to the love connection. Like they might be about something else in your life that in some way is related to the love connection. Um, and you may or may not even be aware of that. All right, so for the other person, we have the four of pentacles, the four of wands and the 10 of wands. Okay. Um, just overall, I feel like there's a lot of um, issues here concerning stability, concerning family, concerning home, concerning the long term um, for the both of you. There's issues around that. Um, so for them, there's something here that they're holding on to very, very tightly. I'm not quite sure yet if it's you. I feel like it's you, but it might also be something else. So even though they're holding on very, very tightly to you, there might also be like this essence of them also reframing um, from allowing themselves to show that or to act on that. Even though they're holding on to you, it's like, yeah, but um, there's definitely a deep sense of connection here that this person has for you. Um, you know, feeling like you are their person, basically. But there's something here that needs to be released on their side. And I do see them moving in that direction because it's like they're holding back. They're holding on to something else. And that something else, it doesn't necessarily have to be another connection. It could be that they're holding on to their um, independence too tightly um, or to what they feel to be their independence, just for example, or even a job. Um, 
but that needs to be released. Let's see the potential outcome. We have the four of sword. Yeah, the four of swords. Um, healing, recovering from something here. Let's see. Um, definitely feeling more more at peace with something. So let's see how this all connects. All right. So let's clarify the. Ten of Pentacles with the Nine of Swords. All right, Ten of Pentacles, Nine of Swords for the situation, and we get the Knight of Cups, the King of Pentacles, and the Six of Wands. It definitely feels like there's some kind of some kind of an obligation or some kind of a status here that somebody is trying to either maintain or that somebody is having a hard time letting go of. And that's creating a lot of anxiety because it's like some kind of a role here. For some of them, it could even be like a father role or like um, um, an employer role or a status role. Um, so for a lot of them, it's it's having to choose between that and, and love. And that's creating a lot of a lot of stress, a lot of overthinking this, something that has, yeah, something that just has been very stable um, or that seemed to be very stable, something that has been long standing, in other words, and is like a big commitment in somebody's life. It's it's associated a little bit with status or with ego or with um, assuming a particular role, and it's like yeah, that's that's needing to shift or that's um, creating you know difficulties when it comes to love. Let's see the hermit for your energy. The Three of Wands and Justice. Okay, Libra. Some of you might be dealing with a Libra. Um, yeah, you're, you've gone deep into thinking mode, thinking about the future and what decisions you should be making. Um, and I do feel like by doing that, like this whole introspection, and thinking about the future, it's actually helping you to find some balance. Because I don't, I don't actually feel like you're overly focusing on the on the future. It's not like you're not living in the now. Um, I feel like you're actually, you know, um, thinking of this, but in a very practical way that is needed. And you're thinking about this future, but from a very balanced place. Okay, with a very balanced perspective, like being realistic and just figuring out what it is that makes sense and what it is, most importantly, that resonates with you and what it is that your soul um, truly wants. So it could be that for a lot of you, you know, you've, you've been in the process of making some kind of a decision here, especially in terms of your own self. And for that reason, you may have turned a little bit inward. It almost feels like there's a plan here, like there's a plan that you have. Let's see the Knight of Pentacles. The Two of Swords and the Emperor. I feel like you're, you're moving away either from a rivalry, whatever that means um, to some of you, um, or you're moving away just from, from any kind of conflict, disagreements, something that just was not sitting well with you. And it, again, it doesn't have to necessarily be a person. It can be that you're moving away from that aspect, like you're just not dealing with a particular aspect of a connection um, anymore. And this is helping you to find your own empowerment. 
um, it's like, yeah, you're, it, I feel like you're, you're taking control of your own self and of your own life. You're grounding yourself and just moving forward in a very practical and balanced type of a way. There could be a little bit of, um, doubts that kind of creep up here and there. But I feel like for the most part, you're, you know, you're, you're overcoming them. Let's see that Ace of Pentacles. This is moving you towards a new path here. And it could even be, you know, that a new path is opening up with this person, possibly. Or just a new path for you. I don't know. Let's see. Ace of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles and the Devil. All right, interesting. Um, someone else got this combination and I, the reason why I remember it <laughs> is just because to me it's like such a powerful combination getting the Nine of Pentacles and the Devil because that's like telling me, you know, you are breaking away, becoming, detaching yourself from something unhealthy, from something toxic, from a, a negative pattern that may have been playing out. So that's what you're moving towards, you know, you're moving towards really finding your sovereignty and just being very, very independent, very, very stable, standing very firmly um, in the ground on your own two feet. And it's like, this is opening up a new path for you. And I feel like that has actually been the theme um, for most of the zodiac signs so far for September. And again, you know, you're moving away from that devil's energy, whatever it is that has been toxic, whatever it is that has been, that was keeping you chained. Do, do keep in mind though that, you know, a, some of this energy might again, you know, kind of creep up here. But I feel like, you know, again, it's like you're, you're overpowering that, okay? So just take that also as encouragement that, you know, sometimes, you know, cycles, it's like the potential for them like show back up and then it's up to us whether we choose to engage with them or not and get back into that loop and i i see that for the most part you're not you're breaking away from that but just take that also as as a precaution you know it might show back up and it'll be your choice um whether you go back into that type of a pattern or dynamic or way of thinking or you know whatever whatever that means to you okay um, all right, let's see what's going on with the other person here. Four of Pentacles. The Four of Swords and the Three of Cups. What is this person holding on to? Um, there's something here. It could it could be a third party. Um, for some of you, it definitely could just be this person um, still holding on to wanting to have like either there are options open or just keeping things light, like not wanting things to go deep, not wanting things to um, go really serious. It's like there's this holding back, but at the same time also holding on to you, but then holding back and possibly being a passive. Um, it does feel like they're trying to heal something and this something could have to do with um, like a lifestyle or a way of being, possibly a fear of allowing things to get intense. And so this could be why this person has been um, kind of reserved or just holding, holding back. Let me see this Four of Wands, because this person is a little confusing. Some of you might be dealing with a musician, by the way. 
um, that just came through here for some of you, all right? Just a specific message. All right, for the Four of Wands, we have the Seven of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles. Uh, I, I can't help but feel like there's a third party here. It doesn't have to be a romantic part uh, a romantic partner, but I definitely feel like for a lot of you, there is a third party involved, which could be anything. I mean, it could be a business even. Um, it could be a friendship, a relative. Um, I don't know, but I am kind of getting that. There's just too many cards here um, pointing to that. It's interesting. It's like, you know, this this person um, is really feeling like they belong with you, but it's like they're deceiving, deceiving themselves in that sense. Um, they're like, nope, I do, but um, I don't know, whatever this something else is. And that something else could even just be a lifestyle. Um, It's like they're holding on to that a little bit, a little bit stubbornly. Um, I, I don't have anything else to say <laughs> about that here. There's nothing else coming through. Let me see the Ten of Wands. I feel like this is kind of getting to be um, a little bit overwhelming for them. Um, they're feeling some kind of a pressure here, like something needs to happen. And I feel like that's what's ultimately going to throw them into this Four of Swords, this recovery, this healing, because I feel like they've been resisting their own healing in some way. Um, almost like, you know, for them, it's like, I'd rather just keep things light than go deep and heal. Kind of like that. Um, so let's see, Ten of Wands. I feel like that pressure is just going to build up to the point where like they have no other choice but to face whatever it is that needs to be healed. Um, two of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles <laughs> again. Wow. Um, yeah, definitely feels like things are going to get shaky for them as you're moving on to some kind of a new path here. You're breaking away from a toxic pattern or cycle. Um, they're feeling the pressure and things are getting very, very shaky for them. Um, you're finding stability, they're getting shaky because of what it is that they've been holding on to. Other than you, because there's something else here that they're holding on to as well. Um, and I feel like it's just, you know, reaching that point where that, you know, they just have to burst. So let's see, Four of Swords for the potential outcome. almost feels like this person's going to have to either make a decision or figure something out, figure out how to balance things in their life. And that's what they are moving towards, but not until they're like really pushed to their limit because they have a lot of resistance. All right, let's see. Four of Swords, we get the Ace of Swords, the Empress, and the Nine of Wands. Yeah, this is both of you moving in that direction. I feel like, you know, you're both actually healing something here from within this connection. And that is ultimately opening up a brand new potential here. I see you really stepping into your own power, being able to create actually something new for yourself, whether that be in love, whether that just be life or career or whatever. Um... But I don't see this situation as being 100% over just yet, um, if, if it ever will be. I don't know. It doesn't look like it's done yet, okay? That Nine of Wands is telling me there's still some way to go. Um, with this connection, it's, it's not over. I don't know. There's, it, it's almost like there's, there's like this sense of hope here. There's this sense of faith that things can actually um, take a turn. Take a turn and that that resistance will, will be released at some point. So yeah, Gemini. Again, roles can definitely be reversed. Take it as it resonates. 
And if it did, please do give me a thumbs up. And let's get a final message for you. And we have patience. Pause before you take action. Trust that divine timing is at work. Be patient and play while you play. Sorry, be patient and play while you wait. Um, so yeah, I feel like actually that is what you're doing. I feel like you're just being patient with your own self here with that nine of, knight of pentacles. Like you're just gradually moving towards this new path and just being patient that everything is actually going to fall into place. Like I said, something here is not done. It's not over. It's not over till the fat lady sings, right? All right, guys, those were your messages. I thank you so much for watching and much love.